I'm back again with another video tutorial and in this video I'm gonna paint with gouache and if you're a beginner I'm gonna tell you each and everything that you need to know about this medium this is gonna be a whole process video tutorial while I'll paint and hope you will enjoy watching it while I give you some insights now as you can see I've already made my drawing and I'll take out some paints out of my tubes I picked the number 4 round brush to start the painting with. Uh, first I'll start off with the areas around the face where I have mixed a little bit of water to my paint because I'll be working with layers. Now first thing first, what is gouache? And often it is described as uh, opaque watercolors and I would say uh, these are more like children's poster colors but like a high quality poster colors. As if your uh, watercolors is mixed with a uh, chalk like pigment which i believe makes it um, extra heavy bodied um, and makes it opaque as compared to, to watercolors artists who have worked with gouache really like this medium because it provides precision um, flat color coverage and crisp edges and also the main feature is it can be used to paint lettering or fill in drawings and it also allows flexibility because it can easily cover up your mistakes now one can't use gouache to build layers of colors like they can with watercolors and if you're a traditional transparent watercolor painter then gouache is probably not for you. If you like to paint and experiment during a course of painting then gouache is a wonderful tool and as it is easily soluble, if there is any mistake then it will very easily adjust it. We can adjust it damp brush with damp brush. Usually people have a question in mind that is gouache uh, the same as acrylic paints? No, they are not. Acrylic paint is usually thicker and more durable as compared to gouache. And as acrylic can be used on multiple surfaces um, like paper, wood, glass, plastic. But gouache is best suited for paper. The best gouache is paper pe hi ho sakta hai. And unlike acrylics, we don't apply a thick layer bhi apply nahi kar sakte. and it is usually done using a brush only and not with a spatula knife like we do acrylics or oils. Mein hum log kar lete In fact, we shouldn't apply a thick layer of gouache because it might crack afterwards. Now coming back to my work, after applying thin layer of uh, pink color, um, I've started using light blue color onto the areas where I want the flowers to be blue. And side by side, I'll be using two shades of blue, like dark blue and light blue, and little bit of white mixed with it. Because if you use two or three shades of same tone, ka jab use karte hai, toh easy ho jata hai usko shade karna and mixing karna, especially with gouache. Now there are many techniques as you begin your first painting like one of them is like staining so you might start a painting with staining that is like covering an area of paper with a layer of paint to serve as a foundation of the rest of the painting uh, like um, staining it's like a um, bit of gouache paint mixed with some water to create a thin consistency that can be applied across the paper and then slowly slowly you can just develop the whole area detailing up course and then up easily overlap kar sakte ho colors ko light dark and the best part about gouache is that it's made light or dark colors ko aap ek ke upar ek aap merging kar sakte ho easily and the second technique can be uh, like applying opaque layers like jo bhi areas aapko visible ho rahe hain jahan pe jo bhi color aapko visible ho raha hai ya fir jo bhi apply karna hai aapko color aap wahan par un particular forms ke andar like forms within forms you can apply those colors and other techniques like wet on wet and dry brushing can also be applied using gouache paints. Like on wet on wet technique, you you can uh, get soft shapes and blurred lines. And whereas in a dry brushing technique, you can add texture to your painting, like giving texture to the leaves, backgrounds, um, highlights, or feather like effects.
now as you can see i've uh, added a lot of water to my uh, purple color and using the glazing technique uh, where we apply a thin layer of two colors on top of each other so that the color becomes one so i wanted a purple which should uh, match my uh, blue color here so i'm using a very thin layer of blue color and bahut lightly jab maine usko uh, blue color ke upar apply kiya to it became slightly bluish purple I usually will use this technique in almost all type of mediums like in acrylics or even in oil so it's actually a very nice technique so especially when you're feeling lazy and you want to finish your artwork and you just don't want to mix the paint again and again bar bar aap alag alag colors banao chote chote portions mein and usse kya hota hai aapka paint bhi zyada waste hota hai and you just end up using a very less amount of it so it's better to use this glazing technique aap thin layers ek ke upar ek apply karo and then you can get a nice desired um, color of your own Now here I'm done with my flower area around the face and I'll I'll start painting the areas in the background or around the face area kyunki usse mere ko easy hoga contrast create karne mein ki mere ko face ke andar kis tarike se colors ka mujhe lightness and kitna wo mujhe bright chahiye kyunki koi bhi ek particular color jis bhi colors ke sath mein wo place kiya gaya hai usse bahut farak padta hai and to check that you can try an activity like you can take a one single color and wo single color ko aap ek dark background ke sath and ek light background ke sath apply karke dekho and then you'll get to know the difference between those uh, colors ki ek single color ek background light or dark ya uske aas paas ka color agar thoda bahut change hota hai warm ya cool hota hai to usse kitna difference create hota hai and do let me know in the comments down below if you agree to this point or not and now that i have painted my background as well i'll start making some rocky texture um making some cracks in the background and after making the cracks i also decided to make this pattern this pattern with a uh, round small circles i'm really liking it i just wanted to do it as so why did it anyway now here i'm splattering some paint on my drawing and is step ke bina mera almost har artwork adhoora hai especially when i'm painting even in when i'm doing abstracts or even though i'm when i'm doing a uh, oil artwork like oil realistic artwork so before i start my painting i just splatter some paint on it and then i just merge apply thin layer of turpentine and all so yeah i really love doing this
here after applying some highlights to the hair strands i'm starting with a very light layer of uh, flesh tint all over the face where i want that flesh tint to be seen see I've started my face uh, foundation with a very nice and thin layer of pink color then I applied the yellow tone around the cheek area and the chin area and then dheere dheere hum log color ki darkness bhi increase karenge and similarly uh, jo forms hain jahan pe mujhe thoda sa darkness chahiye wahan pe bahut thin layer of again dark color I'm applying kyunki zyada thick layer mein isme apply karungi to fir baad mein mera crack bhi pad sakte hain and wo ek bahut patchy look dega so thoda sa mixing karne ke liye I'm using a slightly dry brush to mix the whole area jisse mere colors easily merge bhi ho jayenge and bahut patchy feel bhi nahi dega and always try to go from light to dark instead of dark to light um kyunki dark ko light karna thoda sa difficult ho jata hai and wo zyada layering mangta hai and uh, agar aap chahte ho ki aapka work zyada smooth ho transitions color ke beech mein kafi smooth aaye to try using light to dark ड्राई ब्रश टेक्निक टू गिव अ टाइस टेक्सचर टू द स्टोन एंड अब देख रहे हो कितना अच्छा लग रहा है टेक्सचर वाओ एंड हेयर आई एम गिविंग सम हाईलाइट टू द स्टोन
and after you're done with the highlights and everything when your drawing is finished now the question arises how to protect a gouache painting so when you paint when you want to display one of your uh, gouache paintings make sure that you protect it appropriately as you've learned that water can reactivate the paint so even a single drop of water can ruin your whole painting and the best protection is a glass frame however you can also use a spray fixative to fix it completely and make it waterproof or you can also use an ohp sheet to cover up the uh, drawing area and then frame it or simply tape it with a nice fancy tape around it and with this my artwork is finished i am pretty satisfied with the result and to fix it i'll be using a frame which is this with white borders it is looking really nice with white borders so yeah i'm really happy with the results i hope you also liked it and you learned something new with this video tutorial i'll see you in the next video and do not forget to subscribe and like this channel and if you have any questions related to gouache paintings i uh, you can comment down your questions below and i'll try to answer them and for some art tip and tricks you can follow me on instagram i keep on posting some tricks and um, different art related queries on my instagram story so you can go and check that out as well and i hope to see you again in the next video till then take care of yourself and maintain peace